Everyone fears losing their mind. Disease, loneliness, trauma, prolonged pressure, time. There are countless ways our minds can meet oblivion long before our bodies. So we invent routines that can hopefully carry us from and back to our pillows intact. Slicing up the days into chunks that can be more easily digested. We toil away and pretend it gives us purpose, supporting lives we hope are stable and relieve ourselves with smaller, more manageable oblivions. When we become dissatisfied with the process, we try to rebalance our needs. Less dairy, more gym, less booze, more weed, less gym, more dairy, etc. But the balancing act never ends. The cycle never stops. Sanity is a construct, an artificial invention of humanity. And like all constructs from the mightiest skyscraper to a Lego house, it must be maintained. When your maintenance fails and the edifice crumbles, you will realize that the creeping dark comes not from without, but within. Sanity was always the unnatural state. Sanity was the invader. At the end of that long entropic road, when all your humanity and sense is withered away, only the madness remains. Welcome to Dread Axe Collection. It's a very, very fancy mod. I'm playing a little bit early. Uh, there'll be a few things I want to say before I get into it. And one is, of course, the developers. There's a bunch of developers working on this. A team, or uh, basically ten wicked, wicked minds of, you know, who made this project. And I'll be naming them off and uh, giving a few things of what they've made, just so people are at least up to date on who made what, just in case they're not familiar with names or studio titles. All right, so in this collection, we can start off, I guess, uh, alphabetical order. It's sort of what they've done. We have people that worked on this, or the Steam store page, let's say. Ten tales of terror from ten twisted minds made in only seven sleepless nights. The Dread X Collection is a series of small games created by some of the most talented indie devs around. All with the same mission. To create the PT for the horror project of their dreams. That isn't to say all of them are just going to be one of those, you know, boring as fuck indie horror PT clones that I usually mouth off at, but these are genuinely the people that are really good. And you'll you'll know what I mean when I mention some names. Erdorf being one of them, creator of the Faith series. Uh, let's see, who else? Uh, we also have Myhelk? Myhelk? I'm not sure if I'm going to be pronouncing that right. But he's the developer behind SCP Blackout. If people have played that. We also have Odd Breeze. He is creator of Crew 167. I'm sure they made other things. I'll have to probably look up a few people on itch.io and see what else they've made. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so Odd Breeze. Odd Breeze is a studio that started with a goal of creating amazing games. I'm not exactly sure what they've made. Um, they don't have anything on the itch.io page, but they are a team from Montreal, Canada. Then we have Strange Scaffold, who created an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. I haven't played that. The Scythe Dev Team, otherwise known as the people who made uh, Northberry Grove series. Let's see, Secret Cow Level, who is creating Doom Trooper. SnowRunner Games, who made Soda Drinker Pro. I haven't played that personally. And the one that people are going to know the most, arguably besides Airdorf, is, and I'm going to butcher your name, sorry, David Simansky. He is otherwise one of the developers or the developer for Dusk, the uh, Quake-based FPS shooter, retro shooter. A lot of people should know what Dusk is. Uh, he's also made Maximum Action and Finger Bones, which was a horror game I played a long time ago. But, yeah, everyone knows Dusk. If you don't know what Dusk is, what's wrong with you? Uh, let's see. Developer also, Lovely Hell Place. Not played anything of theirs, I do not think. And lastly, Torpal Duke. But, yeah, those are the people who are in this project. 
Uh, the game will go on sale on May 26, and portion of the profits made will go to research for funding towards uh, uh, COVID-19, or more specifically, because I probably butchered. Um, a portion of each Steam sale benefits Doctors Without Borders for COVID-19 relief. So, for those that uh, want to support this, your money will go to a good cause, as well as the fact it would uh, support these indie developers, because they make awesome games. I'll be playing a few of them today, possibly only two or three, and going from there. I'm just not sure which game I want to play. I'll go with whatever image looks the most interesting. The Scythe teams looks interesting. Hmm. A pixelated one. Oh yeah, there's also this Green Reaper one. Who made this one? Hand of Doom. Trapped in an arcane realm by the dark sorcery of the ubiquitous master. Can you learn the correct rituals and incantations needed to escape? Click words of power on right to ready spell and then incant to cast. I'll try the Hand of Doom first. Why not? Oh, I see. Okay, I'm gonna have to change the game. Is it looks like this looks like it's like old-fashioned Eye of the Beholder, so it sort of intrigues me. I just have to change my recording. All right, Hand of Doom by Triple Torpal Duke. The name sounds familiar though, but yeah. Is it like Eye of the Beholder? Hmm. How to figure Taleth ist Ort. Oh. Are those like rune words captured or referencing Diablo 2 by any chance? Or is it just something that's old fashioned that's beyond Diablo? It's a book of dread incantations. Surely this will be useful. Ah, Eth Ort Talist. Hmm, delete and can't. Your incantation failed! Oh no. Alright. A locked door, perhaps a spell could unlock it. Uh. I don't remember. Uh, I can't remember what the ghoul did, oh, did to open the door. Uh. My memory is just that bad. Oh, wait, or I could just look at the fucking book. Talethis Dort. Okay. Ta -e -e yeah. Hmm. Can I kill you, or are you just here to help me? So. Hedge wizard. You must be the newest resident of this place. How did you escape from the dungeon? Didn't you let me out? Is there someone else similar looking to you? You may have been better off staying locked up. Nah. You may have been better off staying locked up. I disagree. Well, let's go around, I guess, the hedge maze. He was a hedge wizard. And, uh, just wizards everywhere. Here lies the dungeon, both dark and Fell. The way is shut, lest you cast the right spell. Can you can you give me a hint? Here lies the yeah. way is shut, lest you cast the right spell. Unlock door, tell us the store. Okay. I'll try the same one for this. Oh, is or <laughs> idiot. How do you think I got in here? Gotta learn more spells, though. You got? Can you teach me anything? Behold, you look upon the tomb of the master. Even in death, the power of his sorcery endures. Great is the power of the master. Okay. I'll just take his word for it, you know? Wait! That book! Could it be? It's the Lost Grimoire! Is... The Master searches for it. They say it grants the wielder great power. 
pray the master does not learn you possess it. Well, it depends on if you can keep your fucking mouth shut, Mr. Observant Wizard. I hope he's not also not coined the fucking Tattletale Wizard. Some incantations may require a sacrifice. If you ever find yourself running low, return to the fountain. Yeah, my blood's fine. So they're saying the book was lost and no one knew where it was and it was literally like a few meters away from them. It's kind of sad. These wizards are kind of, uh, not all there in the head, I guess. Maybe it's like Adventure Time, you know? And Adventure Time is like, the more wizardry and knowledge you gain, the more insanity you gain. Beyond this door, the ground bodies do fill. No passage have you, lest your blood you can spill. No passage have you, yeah. lest your blood you can spill. Man, I mean, I'll open the door, but... I, s I need a sp I need a spell that is like for damage or destruction. I can't. I guess I can't go in there yet until I get a weapon or a spell. What are you doing hiding in this bush? I used to know a spell that Ooh. could increase yes. your. I remember that it starts with Ort and ends with Tal. Ort Tal. There were four words total. And one was repeated. That spell may have required blood. If only I could remember. Okay, so it. Tal. F. Talort? Ta. F. Ta. Ort. Was it. It ends with. I. I remember that it. Starts with Ort and ends with Tal. And ends with Tal. Okay, Ort Tal. Uh Orth Ist or Tal. I had to find out. Ist Ort Tal. Hmm. If one of them repeats. Ort Tal Ist Tal. Damn it. I've been trying a bunch of combinations, but I just haven't been able to get it. Cause I would highly doubt it's Ort Ort, you know? God damn it, I wanna figure out the combination. It has one repeated, and it ends in Tal, and Ort. So it's like, it can be, I, I just really don't think it's gonna be Ort Ort, you know? Or Tal Tal. So it has to be like, or F Ort Tal, or Ort Ist Ort Tal. But it has to be like that. Hmm. Unless like, doing it randomly isn't going to net me any, you know, any sort of shit. The master's body is in It may be possible. Of course, this would be as well as perhaps there is a secret entrance. Hmm. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna have to hope that I just learn spells by being told and it goes in the book. Because I'm not exactly sure if incantations you can only use are ones that are in the book. If it's not in the book, you can't cast it. Not sure, but he gave me the hint of it. Starts with Orton, ends in Tal, but I've literally tried everything to my knowledge. So I'm not sure if the game... Ethis Talort? Is he teaching me this? Ethis Talort? Ethis Talort? Ethis Talort? Ethis Talort? Is it for lighting? Talort. Oh. Oath of Flame added to Grimoire. I want speed, though! So I have to cast it for it to be in the book. Hmm. F is Talort. F is Talort. Ah, I can light the torches. Well, that's... Wait, what? Uh-oh. Nope. What the fuck was that thing? F is Hmm. Some, some kind of monster for a jump scare? Not sure. I'm gonna have to light the torches on our way everywhere I get. Oh. God damn it, man. Hm. Right, I'm gonna have to figure out this speed spell. I'm moving way too slow, and there's a weird thing in this. Uh. Cave? Talk. 
All torches have been lit. What does that do? What does it mean? I don't get it. Something may be opened somewhere. <clears throat> ah. A knife infused with dark sorcery. You feel compelled to take it. I don't know if it would be good if I took her, though. Hmm? Hmm. <clears throat> Why does she get dark, man? Gotta have to get out of here. Escapes! There we go. Excellent. Whatever the fuck is in there. Noif. Nif. 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 Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. I get it. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to. Now I understand why I couldn't get the pattern. Okay. Now I know why. The wizard, for the speed, he says it required a bit of blood. This realm is the domain of the mass. Each of us were brought here at his will. There is no way out. He's the aloof one. Alright. We're gonna have to... I want to get the speed thing, but it would take using the knife, because he said that use a bit of knife... A bit of the oomph, or knife. I, I remember that... Or and tell. There were four words to... And one was repeated. And one was repeated. That spell may have required blood. If only I could remember. He uses blood, and one was repeated. Ah, oh, but if it's four, four words, ah, oh, that's just there's just so much combinations now. Like you do, or knife f towel, but that's not in combination. So it could be or knife knife towel. It, but it's not anything of the combination of these. It has to have a con like something with the knife involved. Like, ort, knife, eth, tal, but then, you know, there's no combination. Well, let's try this. Ort. <laughs> Tall. Damn it. Wait, that makes any, no, no sense. If it's four, it can't be, if it's not ort, knife, knife, tal, then... And if it's four... Ort, ort, ah, heightened agility! I found it! Yes! Oh wow, that's so slow! What that last so little? Heightened agility, ort, ort, knife, towel, motherfucker. I found it out though. Okay. I wanna learn all the spells. Even if this is just a demo. Alright, let me in. Or, er, at this. Wait, which one was it? Eth is Talort. Let me in. A locked door. Perhaps a spell could unlock it. Ugh, oh, fine. Uh, Taleth is Dort. Excellent. I don't have any spells, like, for combat. I'm gonna assume I don't need any, but... Hmm. Especially by how slow incantations are. Burn this? F is Talort. This looks like it'll be a secret entrance. The shrubbery looks different. Burn! No? Okay, let's unlock the shrubbery. What? There has to be something special here. There has to be something special! This shrubbery looks weird. 
You! <laughs> he made a stab sound. Tal F stab. I like that. You say, Tal F. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, he did it for me, but I gotta learn it so I don't forget it, because I'll forget it. Stab. Spirit sight. But didn't he unlock it for me? How left? He did it for me, and it. I do want to make my way back to the. Uh... Oh, wait, what? I'm gonna be running out of blood. I don't want to kill myself, so. Uh, let, let's go back. Replenish at the fountain, then come back. Okay, it's like it toggles, or... Maybe not, maybe that's just a dead end. Ah, I see. There's torches here, okay. F.S. Talort. A secret is revealed! A locked gate. Hmm. Uh, Talethistort. I want to see if uh, the spirit vision or whatever uh, can be used at the start starting area for any other secrets. Hmm. Spirit sight, Taleth knife. Hmm. Nothing. What do I do in this room? Unlock door with the flame. Spirit sight. Spirit sight didn't work, so hmm. I open the door. We'll need to learn more spells, perhaps. Ah, so I could go further here. I see, I see. Okay. That's what I thought. You could keep going. If you are no Tal Ort Ort F. Ift. Ooh, a five word spell. Tal Ort Ort F. Oh, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. I need to do. Replenish blood. We need to get spirit sight back. Teleth knife. And the ghosts are all back. Tell Ordor Deathist. Can keep moving forward. These fucking things are in the way, though. And I keep turning on spirit sight and turning it off. Yep. I need to if I want to go further. Stupid ghosts. Hmm. Okay, this way. Okay, and then this way. Uh, I need some more blood before I go towards there. Tell Ort Ort Fist. Give me some blood. Free blood. Mm, now what is this? The power over death itself. You feel compelled to take it. Oh, okay. I'm just the ultra powerful fucking wizard. Nothing can stop me. What does it mean? How do I use it? Hmm. I'd imagine we're just missing one more spell. P 
place the orb on the altar. Sure. The altar accepts your offering. Recite the holy incantation. Oh, it's probably gonna kill me. Knife. Probably knife. F. Tal. Ist. Ort. F. Stab. If it's left or right. You cast Soul Banish. Uh oh. You fool. You thought you were going to banish me? I was guiding you towards my resurrection the whole time. Okay. Now, I live again. And you shall be the first to die. Why? <laughs> Are you just evil for the sake of being evil? You should at least tell me why you'd kill me when, like, I helped revive you. You could be like, well, I used you as a puppet to revive me. I am very appreciative of that, even if you are some kind of puppet, but... So, I mean, here, you, you can stay alive. Not like you're a threat to me. No, I'm evil. I'm going to kill you after you did such a big fucking task while these aloof wizards just hanging around the hedge maze are just like, I'm a wizard, look at me! They start casting stupid little, like, flower spells and shit, thinking they're hardcore and shit. Uh, let's see. Playable teaser by Torpal Duke, created for the Trip Dread X collection, and made in a week. Okay. That was uh, Hand of Doom. I've been playing for 40 fucking minutes, Jesus Christ. Alright, I guess this will just be one game of a, of a bunch of them, Jesus Christ. I'll look at another one, but this will be only it for now. Um, I'm glad I was able to learn the speed spell as much as it really didn't come to any use, but the fact I at least was able to find it or figure out by trial and error, well, I'm a little happy with myself, I don't know. I don't know if there's another hidden spell, if there's any other secrets that were in this game, no idea. But I hope you enjoyed Hand of Doom. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time.